I'll have you know, I did just water our flowers, but I did not wash my car. So I'm not the source of this rain. But still, summertime rains can be kind of cool. Here's my little chair I sit in. It's sheltered, kind of, from the rain. So my Blue Yeti unit has arrived. That is uh, my dolly I had in my home. I always have a dolly around. The dolly I ordered for it is, uh, is not here yet. Here's my Blue Yeti. Just arrived in its box. You can see I was camped out waiting for it to arrive. And uh, my neighbors are apparently celebrating the Blue Yeti arrival. So what I'm going to do is open the box up out here. Uh, no reason to uh, bring all this cardboard and shit inside the house. Yeah, I know everybody should have a pair of cutters in their back pocket. My electrician days. You can see uh, people on the internet talk about these cardboard supports the box comes with. And everybody should have a box cutter. There's lots of uh, talk about how Blue Yeti double boxes their shipment, at least on the internet. I'm not sure why everybody's so impressed by that. And uh, you can see here's the cable and the uh, charging brick. This is how. I'll charge my Blue Yeti unit. So yeah, I have a rag out here, just in case. There's the big styrofoam top. And yep, the Blue Yeti is in there. Yep, box. And drum roll please. There it is. There is my Blue Yeti in a nice plastic bag. Now, let's get it out of the box. So here we go for the big lift. Oh, this is not that bad. What is interesting, it get a little bit of drain or drizzle, but you can see the Blue Yeti box is now empty. I am going to dispose of this. I am going to bring this garbage in the house. I suspect my Blue Yeti unit 
is going to going to spend a significant part of its operating hours outside. So it's only appropriate that we unbox it outside. So there we go. There's your first look of the unit. Not even out of the plastic bag yet. I might wait until I get it inside. If you can see, it came with a 60% charge. That's the on off button. 60% charge. DC on. DC on. And there you go, it's operating. Of course, it's not powering anything, but it's operating. DC off. DC off. Do yet a unit. Oh. Well, at least the lawnmower or the lawn maintenance people have kind of left me alone for a minute. Let's see, can you see me? Yeah, you can kind of see me. But um, I'm going to show you the big lift since everybody's talking about the weight. And you can see, for me, I think I have other equipment that weighs more than this. And it's not that bad for me. But what I am going to do is take the plastic bag off the bottom and put the plastic bag on the top of the unit there like that. So yeah, there you go. Of course, it's awful nice to have it on a cart. But it can be moved around without a cart. My first test of the unit, I guess you can say. So there you go. There's the Blue Yeti double box. You can see the inner box is a is kind of a graphic image of the unit. And of course, here's the unit. Under its plastic bag until I get, get something better. But yeah, there it is. All live and well, 60% charged. Of course, we'll get that all charged up tonight. So I know you want to know what Charlie thinks of the Blue Yeti unit. Um, and for anybody who knows Charlie, you know his first order of business is to jump on anything that comes in the house. So there he is. Plus, the Blue Yeti right now is invading his private space. So you can see we've got the wall charger plugged in and on. And uh, it's providing 451, 456 watts of input. And woohoo, I adjusted the date and time which actually it took me a minute to figure out how to do that it wasn't it wasn't totally intuitively obvious but obviously if it only took me a minute I figured it out pretty quickly so there you go it's charging it's charging with a Charlie on top and there's the brick 
The fans you hear are in this charging brick. Looks like air comes in on one side and exits on the other side. So the Blue Yeti unit is supposed to be smart enough to know when it's got a full charge and will turn off charging. So you see we have already went from 60% to when it first arrived, we're up to 64%. So things are pretty good. You can see the settings menu. And next, that's where you set the date and time. But the trick is, you actually have to put your finger on the year to set the year. You have to put your finger on the month to set the month, and you have to put your finger on the day to set the day. Same thing with the time. So, say it went to 415. There you go, 415. It's running. So, what do you think, Charlie? Is the Blue Yeti for you? So, there you go, the Blue Yeti is in the house. It's charging, and it appears to be Charlie Brown approved. <laughs>